Thanks, Natalie and Maya. Today I'm joined by BU Metropolitan College student Lirsa Torres, who competed on this season of the CBS reality show Survivor. Lirsa, thank you so much for joining me. Oh, you're welcome. It's nice to have you here. Yeah. So to start things off, what made you decide to compete on Survivor? So I've been a fan of the show since the first season, and coincidentally, I was in LA for vacation, and they had open auditions. So I told my friend, just drive me there, and I did a one-minute video with no expectations to be called. So it was, when they called me back, I was so amazed and, you know, out of the world because I was not expecting to get on the show at all. And what did you learn about yourself from the experience of being on Survivor? I learned that no matter what happens, I don't have to second guess myself. I usually always have to second guess whatever decision I'm making or uh, thinking that maybe I can't do this. And if I lasted 17 days without food, without like a roof or the basic necessities, I can do anything. And in one of your first confessionals on the show, you came out and said <clears> you were <throat> a punk rocker, lesbian, and proud Puerto Rican. So what did it mean to you to represent the LGBTQ community and Puerto Rico on such a major public platform? To me, it was very important to represent the um, LGBTQ community in Puerto Rico because a lot of people have a bunch of misconceptions about us, and when they see the other, they just immediately shut us down. And I just wanted to show people that we're hard workers, we're nice people, we're smart, and you don't, shouldn't have a bias just because we are different. And you've been pretty open about the fact that you've received some homophobic, racist, and body shaming messages on social media from some viewers. So what effect have those comments had on you, if any? And do you have any regrets about being so transparent about your identities on the show? I don't have any regrets because I presented on the show the way I am in real life. I feel, of course, at the beginning, really hurt because I was not understanding, like, why are people telling me that I'm a lesbian? I know I'm a lesbian. I'm not, I'm, I know I'm chunky, so you're not offending me. So for me, the person was like, I feel really sad for these people that needed to put someone else down to make themselves feel better. So I was wondering what's going on with a lot of these people in the real life that they need to hide behind a keyboard and offend people just to make them feel better. So it really made me sad more for them than for me. What was your experience like interacting with some of the other cast members? It was, at the beginning, it was very difficult because I feel like I was so different from them. But then once you start living together, you find like common grounds. And I learned a lot from different people like Elizabeth. I would have never walked somewhere and make friends with someone like Elizabeth because we're so different. But Elizabeth, she's so nice and so honest that it gave me the outlet to be more open and receptive to meet different people and not be judgy because if I want acceptance, I have to accept the rest of the people as well. Mm -hmm. And you encountered several tropical storms in your time on Survivor and you were often shown standing out on the beach looking out at the ocean. And you've mentioned before that being on the island made you feel connected to um, your home in Puerto Rico. So can you tell me what that experience was like for you? Every year back at home, we get hurricanes every single season. <clears throat> and when Maria happened, which was total devastation for my island, I wasn't there, I was here. And I felt that impotence of not being able to help or do anything. So I think it was the way of the universe to make me reconnect with my people and the experience of being on a tropical storm that big with the bare necessities. So it was, a, it was a moment for me to go back to my people and really understand what they went through without me being there. And was it difficult to cope with the weather elements of the show? Not to me. A lot of people were complaining. Uh, not complaining, they were uncomfortable with the rain, but it's just rain and you're not made out of paper. I mean, it, it is what it is. We signed up for this. This is an adventure. So none of the elements were, were bad for me. I, I learned how to like deal with them. If you want to do this and you put your mind to, I'm going to do this show, I'm going to do this, do this adventure, it comes with it, so you have to learn and deal with that. Is to me, it was fantastic. I really love all the weather situation over there. Is this something that you would want to do again, go back on the show, have a similar adventure to this? I will go, if they call me right now, I will go in a heartbeat. I think it was the best experience I've ever had. I learned so much about me, about others, about the rest of like interactions with people that I have like, no regrets, and I will do it again as many times as they call me. 
And one of the main takeaways that viewers are going to have from this season revolves around the jacket that you wore on the show, which you're wearing today. Um, could you explain the significance of your jacket on the show? I really don't know what the big issue was with the jacket. To me, it was just a jacket until it became a situation. I, they needed me to have a jacket because of the weather, and I got this jacket, and now I feel like the jacket is the 21st cast member of the show. Uh, I'm really happy with my jacket. I use it all the time. Uh, I do understand that the weather situations are bad, and you need some kind of life protection. But to me, it just got out of control for a material stuff, just a jacket that had no meaning to me at all. Yes, so other cast members wanted the jacket that you had on the show. Would you have given it up if you were to do the show again? Yeah, learning, seeing what happened uh, when I was not there on the camera. Uh, yeah, if they needed my jacket, my pants, I don't know, the hair, I will give everything not to be voted out and still be on the game, definitely. And what has the general response been from fans of yours and fans of the show? Oh, at first it was very difficult because I'm so different from what they usually expect on the show. And every episode I, I start winning people and by the episode that I was eliminated, everybody was so in love with me and I'm like, I feel so bad that tonight I'm going and I finally got them and they really like me now and I'm leaving tonight. So I felt really bad that I disappointed all this fan base that little by little like opened to me and started to love me. And I understand that you're a gastronomy student in BU's Metropolitan College and got to showcase some of your knowledge of food on the island. Um, how did your skills that you've learned here at Boston University apply to your experience on Survivor? I think all the learning I did here and in my previous education back at home helped me a lot, especially with the cooking. They didn't know that you can use uh, ocean water to cook the rice and have some flavor at it. The egg situation, um, that they didn't know that they cannot boil eggs and just save them for like the next day, you have to eat them. So I think all the education and the knowledge and, and techniques I got here were really helpful on my experience over there, not just for me, for the rest of the tribe members too. Do you think there are other skills that you, you know, should have practiced or learned before coming on the show that would have helped you out? I think I should have practiced more sports stuff. I was relying just on my social abilities and apparently I need to work out a little bit more. Uh, but it comes, it comes with, the, with the adventure and the experience. Now I know that if I go again, I have to like run a little bit more. And finally, you shared on social media that you got a survivor tattoo to commemorate your experience. Um, what went into the process of deciding what image to get for your tattoo and what is the significance of that to you? I wanted to get something that it was representative of my experience on the show and my whole journey. And at some point I said uh, that I had more